All right, so starting this model in Maya, going to go into polygons, make a box, scale that box up. And this is not about aesthetics, this is about a room with an actual door, and that's it. So after we get this done, we can start getting into some really cool stuff. And maybe touching back back on some of the aesthetics to a level. But you still need those those day-to-day -day things like a door opening, a door closing. Those things make levels. Alright, so what we're gonna do here is insert an edge loop. We're gonna insert an edge loop here, and then here, and then here. Okay. And then I'm going to take this face right here and duplicate it off. So I do that by going in here to duplicate face and duplicating it right off the side. So that's going to be my door. And I can now go in here and hit delete. Okay, so there we go. We got my room and we got my door. Now this would never fly in game because what will happen is you could see through the room. So this needs to be extruded using the extrude button and blue arrow out, which is also going to make this little wedge. And you can see this wedge, how it's thicker here, but thinner down here. Okay, no big deal. I go into my side view, go into the vertices, and I take all the vertices and I scale them negative. And that will flatten out the door. There we go. I got this little thing at the bottom, which is perfect because now I can go right into the room. Okay, the door, a little bit more complex. Uh, what I want to do is make a window. And so I'm going to insert some edge loops. Insert an edge loop here, 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 and here. And then another one here and here. Another one here and here. Okay. So that'll allow me to get rid of some faces. I'm gonna get rid of this face by deleting it, that one and that one. And then I'm going to take this and extrude it and blue arrow out. And there's my door. Very simple stuff. So the door, modify center pivot, oops. Go back to the object node, modify center pivot, just like that. And this one is modify center pivot. Now, this is the cool thing about using Maya D on the keyboard. I can move this over here. Now, you see in my one example of rotating it on a different offset, this is exactly how to offset this door. So I click on it, hit D on the keyboard, and move this to the point of where it's going to rotate. All right, now this one over here is called cell. This one is called door. Both of them modify or edit delete by type history. I'm going to put the door back into the jam just like that. I'm going to grab both objects and I'm going to go into general and group them together. And the group is called cell block. There we go. So the reason for cell block existing is now in Outliner, I can grab cell block. There's cell block. And I can scale cell block, and it'll scale the door and uh, the building itself. So what I want to do is scale this pretty big. Because when I do go to export it, it's going to shrink a little bit. So export all. And I'm going to export this into my project 4, which is not in here. So Unity project 5. That's right. And here I'm going to make an objects directory. And in objects, I'm going to be called cell block FBX. 
and then we'll just export that out with default settings and there we go now in unity I should have uh, a new objects directory once I launch my new project so I'm going to open that new project up it's called project 5 And in the next video, we're going to play around with the cell block. Just like that. All right, enjoy. On to the next video.